Okay, so this is my third attempt here. So I am repackaging my rice bag into a bucket using bay leaves. And as you can see, I put bay leaves at the ground level, started pouring, then the camera went off. Uh, so we're not halfway through. We're just uh, a third of the way through, maybe. Okay, I'm going to try not to touch that camera again because everything seems to be going wrong. Okay, so here we go. I'm pouring again. And then I'm going to put more bay leaves. Oops, no, I want to stop. Okay. Oopie. Oopie doo. And here I am putting more bay leaves, as you can see. Okay. And now I'm going to pour more. Because bugs hate the smell of bay leaves, you can also use the Onesis, but that's powdered bugs, quite frankly. Probably not powdered fly bugs. The Bible says not to eat fly bugs. So I think it's safe. But I, I use the Onesis actually, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, to control parasites and um, pathogens, right? And it actually helps clean you out also. But most people find it disgusting. Even though it has no smell, no taste, no nothing. It's actually a little chalky, if anything. But not, not that bad. I've been taking it for years. Because the fact is, disease comes because of pathogens. Um, I just heard one thing. Um, I love eggs. Eggs are great for you. But bugs love eggs, too. <laughs> so eggs serves as a great nutrition. I'm trying to grab these last minute. Okay. So. Here we go. So I want to fill it to capacity. Why not, right? Fill it to capacity. Bugs aren't going to want to enter this zone. Because it smells too much. From it. It's very aromatic of the. Um, uh, Alright, so. Here we go. So I'm going to just flatten it a little bit. Uh. Put, put the top layer of, right? Let the bugs know you don't want to come in the stinker, right? And so far the rice looks good. It's no, 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 no bugs or anything. Because typically you could, I, I would spot it. Yeah, all right, so let me get the hammer here. So this is, this, this is a good shot here. Um, I would like to put absorbers, you know, but I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. Or should I? That's what I bought them for. But I'm going to have to. Uh, I'll do it some other time. This is good. It's good enough. Trust me with this. Okay. Okay. So it's all nice and shut pretty heavy and ready to go and now I'm going to label it and where is my tape and all that stuff white rice 4 27 23 so that's the day of packaged packaged Alright, here we go, baby. Uh, I could put it here on top, and I might as well put it on the side as well. White rice, four twenty seven, twenty three. Four twenty two. Okay. And here we go. All right, so I'll put it right here. That way I don't have to be looking, figuring out, trying to figure out what is what in my packaging room. And I'm going to show you my packaging room now. Okay, so here is one of my packaging rooms. As you can see, I have shelves, metal shelves. 
and uh, you cannot see the bottom part so I'm going to come around here and I have all of these buckets I actually have four of these type of um what do you call it of of shelves I have a room with three of them and this little room has just one can you imagine how much food I have well I guess I'm ready for a rainy day thank you for joining us